Hello everybody and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Europa Universalis 4. Last episode, our first episode, didn't go entirely well. Uh, a powerful alliance declared war on me and ravaged my land pretty badly, but we did manage to get the upper hand on them and we're doing well. So, what we're going to do right now is attempt to, well, we're not doing well, we're just doing better. We're going to attempt to take my land back. We might want to reduce our war exhaustion a little bit. Let's do that. I mean, it's really high right now. So it's it's, it's causing us problems. What we really need to do back do is take our capital back. Uh, the Shawnee are sitting on Huron right now. I wish they would actually go and take more land. But they're not, it doesn't look like they're going to. We really need to take our capital back. So we have 3,000 more men to work with. Uh, I really want to... Let's, let's bring in a mercenary unit. And a land unit. All right, let's do that. This war is getting really ugly, really fast. It's uh, becoming very problematic. But thankfully, the Creek have gotten involved and are just rampaging through the the, uh, the Cherokee territory and just doing me, really doing me justice. These alliances are coming together and doing well. Like if if these guys take out those guys, oh oh yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. Alright, now, if the, and those guys take out those guys. Merge them together. Yeah, go get them. Go get them. Powerful alliances. The alliances have really come together and helped out a lot. Because if we take these this back, then all those will fall back to me. And we'll be good to go. I was actually thinking I might have to restart this, but now I'm thinking we might be okay. I mean, you guys can attack me all you want. Well, I'm, I'm going to sit here. I'm taking my capital back, and that's that. What do you guys want? Nope. Not ceding shit to you. Guild leaders rival noble status. In Cayuga, the presence of guilds had brought a sort of influence. The new sort of influential person. Leading figures in the guilds of Cayuga are not only going to be richer than many aristocrats in the province. They wield power, all while lacking the family ties. Ah, I see how it is. Perhaps this is a shift of the inevitable... The nature of the Republic. Okay, so money is money, new or old. Guilds gain 10 influence. Aristocats lose 10 influence, lose some prestige. We don't have very much of local production efficient. If they uh, do a few favors, all right, so lose some power. Local manpower modifier. Boom, we're gonna take that. Thank my freaking allies that we haven't gotten crushed yet. And I mean, like, it looks like the, the Cherokee are about out of it at this point. I'd love to go out, run around and take care of these little these little units here and there. But, oh, looks like they're going to take care of it for me. But right now I need to siege down my capital. Get it back. Oh, the, the creek came to my aid just in time. Just in time. Rebel Uprising. Ooh, Iroquois peasants, lower taxes. So we got revolt. And it looks like most of the ones that have gotten overrun. Production research flawed. Admin power. I hate having I hate having to do that. Oh, we, we used all of our admin power. I forgot about that. We'll say maybe I should boost my stability. No, oh, that's not a that's not gonna happen. Peace offer. That'll give us money. Nope, we can get more than we can get more out of it. I'm at, we're, we're at, a, we're at a, a good bargaining position. We can get more out of it. All right, so... Uh, Miami entered a military alliance with our Emmy. So that Miami... Where, where's Miami? Right there. Well, we kind of we kind of screwed them. I'm not surprised. But what we're going to do is we're going to take these back. It's going to give us a ton of war, war score, and then we'll knock out these guys. The Cherokee. Come on, get a, get a good roll. Uh, I, I'm in a good position right now. In a really good position. I can get more out of it. All right, so this is the Cherokee. I'll accept that. Alright, 
So the Cherokee are out of it. That just leaves this up here. And as soon as we take my land back, which should better, better freaking happen. Come on, we got 42% here. There we go, 24%. Well, let's look at this. There are the negative there. Maybe, we, do you think we can get up there and help them? No. Uh, well, let's see how this battle unfolds. Probably get up there in time. Yeah, I think we did. Nice! Oh, we're gonna turn this shit right around, aren't we? Alright, so let's uh, take all of their land. The Huron, so the these are the only guys left, basically, the Huron. This war has been raging for God knows how long now. If we can take out... Ah, ah, that's what I wanted to do, take out those 1,000 men. Alright, so... Why don't we offer our own peace terms to them now? How about you give me Seneca? And Ontario. And I, why don't you give me everything? Why don't you give me that shit? What that's gonna cause me? Only a little... Oh, ha, 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 that's awesome. I can't believe we freaking turned that around. We asked for more? And they'll give it to me? I'm gonna ask for everything except for their home. And that'll only give me 30%. And I do have some admin power I can take care of that with. I will have to worry about rebellions. That could be problematic. I could vassalize them. If we took less land, well, let's... Alright, so they won't accept vassalization on any terms. That's that that's not that's not gonna happen. Humiliate them. War reparations. Let's see, ten percent of their income. Hmm. I'm thinking just taking their land is gonna be the best. Basically, take them out of the game. That's really only thirty percent. Overextension, which I can handle. And we still have room for other stuff. We could, uh, can we still, hum we can't heal it, we can war reparation. Nope, that's it. Alright, we're gonna take that. Oh, that turned around real fast now, didn't you bastards? So now we have to worry about this. National unrest from war exhaustion is pretty much all from war exhaustion, so what we're gonna need to do is just, we're gonna have to burn, to prevent an uprising, we're gonna have to burn a lot of PowerPoints. So we'll take care of those two. I hate doing that, but it's what we got to do right now to prevent uprisings. Well, we might actually still have uprisings. Um, let's see. So these guys are getting... Well, it's not that bad. Oh, in about one year. All right, so we do have to worry about this. Handle them. Accept demands. Uh, see, I can't handle an uprising right now, so what I'm thinking is, is just take it. Because an upri I think an uprising would wreck me. That's the thing. What what is going to be worse, an uprising right now, or minus forty two prestige? Well, we could, we, we could, uh, there's other ways to handle this, isn't there? Let's see, so let's... We, uh, we want to raise the autonomy, right? And, and that would knock out a lot of this. Yeah, that would take out most of it. I hate, I hate having to do this, but there's not really much else to do to prevent an... It's, it's like, it's this, or take the freaking massive prestige hit. Alright, that'll that'll help with these guys. But not this one. These guys, okay. I'm basically gonna have to go through and, and raise my, or lower my, raise? Raise. Autonomy everywhere. To prevent my empire, my newly formed empire from 
devolving into chaos. You stay right there, I guess. All right, and let's hope we can keep this up. Ah, oh yeah, I know it lacks cores. We just haven't cored it yet. All right, that basically took care of everything. Hopefully we can, you know, the war exhaustion will go down on its own. The overextension will go down with time. Woo, that was ugly. That was freaking ugly, wasn't it? I can't believe we turned that... Oh my god, look what happened to the Cherokee. That made my enemy, the Susquehannock, a lot more powerful. So, why don't we go over here, offer alliance... Ooh, no. Allied to the Susquehannock. What about these guys? No. Ah, they're both allied to that guy right there, but we do have the Shawnee. We have, we can get, we have Ottawa, right? We, oh, we can't do that for a while. That la leaves me in a bad position in relation to the Susquehannock. Interesting. So right now the guilds are in charge. Oh, hey, buddy. Cat's, uh, cat wants some attention. All right, well, we just got to kind of wait. Now, now, we're, now it's kind of a waiting game. That was an ugly war. And you know, I, I had to concede so much to prevent the, the new state, the new larger state from you know, imploding on itself. And we're in a very weak state right now. If somebody wanted to attack us, they could attack us. The Miami won an alliance? Really? I mean, I need everybody I can get. Every thousand, every regiment's gonna help. Iroquois presence, that 90%? So Mohawk, Onondaga, Oneida. That's in my land. War exhaustion, overextension. Ooh. Well, we can we can keep keep pumping on that. See if it does the trick. Ah, that may. I hate that I had to burn so many diplo points, but my overextension was so high. Not overextension. Uh, war exhaustion was so high. Well, every month it should go down, right? Yeah. Four point one years. Okay, it's going down. It's going down. We're safe. We're safe. Theoretically, unless there's a very low probability of this hitting, but. Alright, I think we're safe. It's going to take a while to recover from this war. Uh, I wasn't entirely ready for it. I don't think I... I, I I'm i surprised I survived. I, I honestly thought I might have to do a restart of the game, having gotten my ass kicked so early on. But let's... uh, These guys save my butt. Prove relations... All right, that's already high. I mean, I guess I could try to keep it high with these guys. Well, that's what I could try to do, I guess. Keep my relations high with their allies. Maybe then uh, they would be less likely to join in an eventual war. And that's an apt way of thinking, right? A little bit of inflation. That's okay. Unrest should be going down with war exhaustion goes down. Well, let's maintain him there for a while. We don't have much else to do at the moment. I don't kind of want to poke a bear with a stick right now when we're in such a rough state. I mean, our manpower actually went down a little bit, I think, because we raised autonomy on everything. And what about these guys? Well, what's our um, current mission? Is it an ar the army one? So, 75% uh, of total force limit. So we need two more, I think. Yeah, we're going to keep going on this guy. 12, 5, 5. Love it. Let's do one and see what happens. And then we'll do another one after that. And if it's... 
that should do the trick. Either one or two will do it. I guess we'll see in a sec. 80%, 90%, 100%. We'll do another one. And speed five this time, so... Boom, that should have done it. There we go. Alright, so close that. Guys can move up here. Actually, if you want, it can move over here. What are you guys building? Oh, we're coring. I was like, what the hell's going on over here? We're coring it. Nice. Culture accepted. Huron is an accepted culture in state of Iroquois. That's cool. So now we're going to go manage this. Should have been doing this earlier. Do them all. Remove Hotami. That's these guys, right? Uh, improve relations with Ottawa. Or, or manpower needs to recover. National unrest or diplomatic. Ooh. That one's going to be easier. Because we can just... Wait a week for this guy to get back. Then improve relations with Ottawa. That one's easy. Alright, nice. Election. Oh, he died. I was like, what the hell? He's dead. Well, I guess that's what... Uh, I guess that's the... The risk you, you take... I mean, if we want, we can go military this time. Let's go military. Try to get those power... Whoa! Miami, my quote-unquote faithful allies, requesting you come to the their aid in the Potomi conquest of Wyandot. Is that right here? Yeah, so one on one. Wow! They managed to get seven regiments. Defensive war, we need to help, is allied with the Shawnee, the Fox, and the Susquehannock. Mm, no. Sorry, guys. I guess that's probably why they wanted me as an ally. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not as strong as I look, though. The Fox are fighting the Ojibwe. Looks like the Fox are gonna lose. Nope, they're good now. 11,000 men showed up just in the nick of time. You know what? Niagara would be a great place for a fort. Because it can cover. It would cover Seneca. It would cover uh, this one. It would cover this one. And it's kind of a choke point. I guess that's why we actually did build a fort there. Fort Niagara. I was just thinking about that. I was like, is there a fort named Fort Niagara? I bet that's why it was built there. Probably cover Niagara River. Alright, so we got the coring going. Let's take a look at our stability here. War exhaustion's going down. Still got a little bit of unrest, mostly just from that war exhaustion. But, thankfully, we are in the clear. It's going to take a long time for all that autonomy to wear down. But I'm, I'm happy with that decision. Because I don't think... I think fighting rebels would have been worse. Fighting rebels would have been worse than what I'm dealing with right now. Yeah, every month this ticks down. I can't... We had to burn hundreds of Diplo points to get that down and avoid revolts, though. I hate burning points like that, but... Gotta do what you gotta do. Let's crank this up a little. Speed 5 it for a sec. have become westernized, these guys down here. Nice. I love that noise. Burm, 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 burm. I should use that as, I want to reuse that as like the ringtone on my cell phone. All right, allied with the Susquehannock, these guys right here. So going to war with them would bring these guys in, which I don't think I'm ready for. I mean, they're of a comparable size to me, but I don't know what they're, I mean, they got through that, they, they kind of rampaged through Cherokee here without too much. Without too much trouble, so I'm thinking that... Alright, we're good. I'm thinking that they probably got out of the war in a better state than I did. So I'm, they, they, ooh, no, they make me a little bit nervous because I, they, I bet they had their manpower is probably a lot higher than mine. 
Fox has canceled the military access they've given to us. That's not a big deal. I mean, they still love us. Aggressive expansion was pretty low. I'm not too concerned about that. Hmm. Maximum manpower. I always forget. I, I've could be, I haven't played the game much since these became available, so I'm not entirely used to this development. That's what we're looking at here. And I wish you can sort this. So that give me. So this gives me uh, tax income, goods produced, maximum manpower. How close? I'm getting. Must be getting close on military power now. I just I need to let my my manpower recover. I don't have that. I know. I I like a. You know, nine, ten regiments and full manpower before I do a damn thing. So that gives me military tactics and morale. Nice. Now this one is going to be the next one. American Hill Warriors, American Plain Warriors, Reinforced Mountain Warriors, and Infantry Shock of 0.15. Right, nice. So that's done. Access to the sea through Connecticut. No, I would love to do that. I would, and the Shawnee would join me. Theoretically. Ottawa, I can't get them actually back onto my side for a while. I don't think I can offer them all an alliance. Not that, alliance. Yeah, we can't do that until 1458, it's 1455. I mean, their only ally is the Susquehannock. They have a royal marriage? Oh, they're a kingdom. And they're a kingdom. Well, they're all kingdoms, except for me. I'm a Grand Republic. Kind of like that. So we got one, oh, a new coin. So used in the reserve side of the coin. Another Republic rejects such personality cults. We're going to issue a new high purity coin. You can improve people's faith in the coinage. Of course, it would be, okay, we could reject the reform and gain inflation, or let the coins be issued and lose some Republican tradition. I think I can, I think I can handle that right now. If you let your Republican tradition decay too much, you cease to become a Republic. We're gonna take this one. Well, let's take that one because basically they're 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 gonna do the same thing. Now, let's see. If I want, I can build a temple or a castle. No, I can't build a castle. I can build a temple, though. Let's see. This is taxes, right? I mean, it's not going to do too much for me in any of these places. I feel like right now I should be saving my money. If I want to, I can bring in more advisors. Let's see. Force limit modifier, yes. One point, I have 1.6 left, so I can. Well, we get that. That was good for the point. Ah, uh, can't. When's the next election? Four, oh, so that's a, a year away. Re-election costs Republican tradition. Now, how do you how do you get Republican tradition higher? How would, how, would, how would one go about that? How do you increase Republican tradition? No neighboring provinces, really? Well, I guess we'll do it over here. So, the Shawnee took out Miami. Fine with that. Shawnee are my allies. Merchant effects. Mercantilism is important. I think if you go... Here, mercantilism's on here, isn't it? I thought it was on here somewhere. I have no idea. I, I know it was on the list. Mercantilism was on the list somewhere. Trade? Mercantilism. 11% gives me 2.6% uh, power projection and minus 1.4% prestige. I'm assuming the more mercantilism you get, it'll kind of balance out at some point and normalize. Alright. Nice. 
So we have basically the war exhaustion is gone. The overextension is gone. Everything is ours. We've got 7,000 men in the pool. Oh, we're doing good. I kind of don't want to go to... Uh, how long will that take? I was like, I don't want to go to war until I have the next level of of men. I don't know how long that'll take. I like I like how this one spot in the middle of Shawnee territory, I cannot see. That kind of tickles me. And I cannot wait to be able to get colonists in some of these areas. I mean, I can go... Yeah, these are... This is all... I got... There's a lot of uncolonized land for me to lay my claim on. And honestly, what I should probably do is go down here and work my way up. So I don't necessarily need to work on exploration right now because look how much land there I have available to me at this moment. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There's 13 provinces I can colonize before I would have to worry about, you know, running out of room. So I'm not terribly concerned about that. that, that that's going to take a long time. All right, I should probably keep increasing this. Well, what's my force limit? Force limit's 11 now. Hmm. Oh, another election. Okay, so keeping the same person costs you tradition. Changing it up, let's we'll let it. All right, so I'm gonna keep this person for a little while longer. I don't want it to go below like 50, I think. And I want to get that alliance with Ottawa back. So I'm kind of waiting till. Wait, 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 when can I? When can I offer it? September 11th, 1458. So there's a little while still. All right, we're getting close up here. We're, we're getting close to our idea group. So probably after this one, I'll probably switch over to admin. I think that's probably what I'll do. And then that'll, that'll give me access to... Well, it'll help me get access to the colonists. I think that'll work out pretty well. It's been a, uh, we're kind of playing on a fast speed here, but man, that war, that was freaking brutal. But look how much land I got from it. I got a ton of land from that. These are, these are all accepted. Autonomy is very high, or very, you know, very high local autonomy. I don't like that. Let's bring in one more. Bring it up to eight. I don't like that these guys are, are are allied with my enemy. Political crisis. Conflict between ruler and parliament. Give it time, solution will present itself. Lose stability. Right now, I can't afford to lose Republican tradition. So we're going to have to get that back. And call it, that'll be 160 points. Damn it. That put me back. That kind of put me back. That sucks. So, all right, merge these guys together. So now we got 8,000 men. Total of 12,500 about. Huron, they hate my guts. They're going to hate me for a long time. But I did kind of wreck them as a nation. Now they're kind of nobodies. Alright, so we have an alliance with Ottawa. We have an alliance with the, with the Shawnee. The Creek, the Shawnee, and the Ottawa. That's a pretty good alliance. I, I approve of that. It's, it's a shame the Creek are so far down there, but frankly, they came to my goddamn... They were my saviors last time. And this is the Poetami now. Did they... I wonder if they're uh, a vassal state. They gotta be. Maybe not. Hmm. Why? They maybe they released them 
as a, their own independent state. That's interesting. They're their allies, though. Alright, so I actually might be able to... I mean, eight men is nothing to... At, at this point in the game, it doesn't matter that I have a, a larger nation. We have the exact same size military and 8,000 men. 8,000 men's 8,000 men. Not dynastic relations, improve relations, send. Alright, so plus eight, plus four, plus eight. Alright, I'm really interested in the next level of military tech. Like, what are these guys right now? Four? I think I'm four. I'm five. Ooh. So if I can get to six, if I can get to six and get that next level of infantry, I'll have a decisive advantage over my, my neighbors. So that is going to be super important. Well, at least now I'm realizing how Republican tradition works. I know that if you let your Republican tradition dive too low, that you're screwed. So there's a... Is it election every eight years? Uh, every four years. Ah, so... So there's an election every four years... You lose 10 Republican tradition if you uh, re-elect, which is a net loss of six. Thicker than water. Too many powerful people in Iroquois uh, contacts or wealth determined status. But nobles still value blood ties highly. Even though the nobles are far from the most powerful faction in our republic at this time. Maybe this is maybe the faction is a republic thing. A recent request for the land of your daughter from a well-known aristocratic family is clearly such an attempt. This will force you to steer politics closer to their line and weaken the Republic. But refusing will make it even more difficult to compel them to support your planned military reforms. Decline as politely as possible and lose 50 military power. We need to maintain close ties with the family. Lose 5 Republican tradition. Well, let's see. Morale of armies, land force limit modifier. Hmm. I'm okay with the guilds being in charge right now, frankly. I hate... Ugh, God damn it. God damn it. No, we can't lose military power right now. We'll take the Republican tradition. I can't lose military power right now. That that That, that is my thing. We're going for military power. I can't I can't lose it right now. That'd put me too far back. Okay, everybody. We're going to leave this episode right here. If you have enjoyed it, just drop me a like. Leave me those comments right down below. And if you're interested in more Benjamin Magnus Plays Europa Universalis 4, just subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time.